Hi, my name is Courtney Morrison and I'm an application engineer with Yokogawa's Test and Measurement Department. Today I'm going to talk about what the data streaming feature for the WT5000 is and how to set it up. For this video, I have a demo three-phase, three-wire motor wired to the WT5000 in 3V3A. In order to use this feature, please update your WT5000 firmware to version 2.01 or later and WTViewer E to the most recent version. Links for both of these updates will be provided in the description of this video. The data streaming feature enables waveforms with a sampling rate of up to 2 mega samples per second captured by the WT5000 to be streamed to WTViewer E, saved in a binary format, and output to a CSV file. With this feature, the WT5000 synchronizes the measurement of up to 22 numeric items raw waveform data. These numeric items can include voltage, current, and motor parameters. This allows you to enhance the efficiency of your data analysis and evaluation. To set up the data streaming feature, connect the WT5000 to WTViewer E via USB using a 3.0 cable or Ethernet and press Start Online Connection. In the settings screen, set the update rate to one second. In the measurement screen, press the measurement setup button. Select the wave sample data checkbox to turn on the data streaming feature. Set the sampling frequency and select the channels you want to record. Please keep in mind that the maximum sampling frequency you can set depends on the number of channels you select. Right-click the trend screen to bring up the trend detail window and select the traces you want displayed. Press the start button to begin collecting data. Press the stop button when the data collection is finished. Go to the analysis screen to display the data that was just collected. Right click the trend window to select an item to display. Place the orange cursor where you want to display the raw waveform data. Click the magnifying glass button to switch to data streaming waveform analysis mode. The upper display is the full one second waveform and the lower display is the zoomed waveform. You can adjust the position and zoom range of the orange cursor to show the, those portions of the waveform in the zoomed window. As you can see, there is an increase in current that I can zoom in on and analyze in further detail that I would not have been able to do in the normal waveform data. You can output part of the data streaming waveform to a CSV file. Press the CSV output button. Set the range and compression if you have file size constraints. Choose where you want the data saved and how to name it and then press execute. You can then open your file in Excel. This data will be one second or less of the full raw waveform. To save a CSV file with numeric, regular waveform, and the full data streaming waveform data simultaneously, switch the analysis mode back to normal. Press the CSV output button. Select which items you want in the CSV file, their range and compression, where you want to save the file, and what to name it. Then press Execute. 
You can open this file in Excel and view all the data you need in the same file. To learn about more features in WT Viewer E, please refer to the two videos linked below. The links for the WT5000 firmware and the WT Viewer E upgrade will also be found in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. To learn more, please visit tmi.yokogawa.com.